Hey everybody, Aston here. Today I'm bringing you guys a special type of match. It's called the Poison Only. Because it's only poison. No perks, no kill streaks, no other abilities, no loss streaks. You must use poison, and you cannot kill if it is not a poison kill. I came up with a stupid idea. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I thought it might be fun to check it out. So you can stun, but when you go close to the kill, you must use your poison. I thought it would be a neat way to um, really set up your kills and make the most of your kills instead of getting some high profile kills, some low profile kills. Just a game with some really good players and some pretty epic kills. Which, uh, pretty far down in here I get some pretty cool kills. And, yeah, here we go. It's set in deathmatch. That way anybody can poison anybody. The main thing to do is uh, try to be as discreet as possible because any time your pursuer can kind of just run around and stun anyone he wants. And you'll see that happen a lot in the match. See, right now what I'm doing is what I should not be doing. You know, hear whispers, put your back against the wall, just kind of look for my pursuer. Another thing to be uh, careful in this type of match is you don't want to waste your poison because if you only get 150 point or 300 point poison kill because you were reckless or something, then you have to wait a whole another minute before you get another kill. So you got to maximize the points you get on your poison and you also have to maximize how many stuns you get. Here I think I'm smooth. Apparently I am not. <laughs> it's going to be a, a lot of those coming in the match, but I think I pulled this one out at, at the end. Again, the complete, the uh, pointless match, unless you want to have fun with friends. But it's a pretty cool way, I guess, to learn how to uh, set up some kills, be a little less discreet and find your pursuers. And if you're watching this video to get some kind of tutorial, I think that's the, the main thing you're going to learn is um, setting up poison kills the proper way and you know, getting stuns, identifying your pursuer. Other than that, I think it's, it's just a fun video to watch. Ah, uh, yes. Dream come true. A grounded target next to a hidden group. It's a good way to start my first kill. So, uh, you know, as you see, it's two and a half minutes into the game, and that's my first kill. And, you know, a game type like this, you really want to set up your kill properly. I uh, do fast acting poison though because I want to get my poison back as fast as possible. <laughs> I tried to get away from my pursuer but they're not falling for it. Um, now I just kind of have to wait 55 seconds. I don't have reset cooldown so there's nothing I can do about it. But I have two targets on me and now this is a good way to uh, show you guys how to spot your target. Obviously this guy. You notice him uh, walking in the back over there and then <laughs> sees me, splits group. Actually, that happens a lot in normal games too. When your target is walking up to you, doesn't want to be obvious, then he'll kind of go into a hidden group that's next to your group. And something I like talking about in other videos, which I'll mention here, is if your target is walking off course... Wait, what's going to happen? I haven't, I haven't pre-planned it. <laughs> oh, no. I think I just got poisoned. I haven't pre-planned this video, by the way. I, I may... Yeah, I'm dead. I remember winning this match, but <laughs> I didn't go over the commentary before I actually did the commentary. Um, NPCs in this game walk in a certain pattern. So if they're going to walk into a morph group, they're going to walk in a certain pattern in that morph group. And all you have to do is watch two or three NPCs walk, and you'll see them take the same exact path. When you learn all those paths, which will be hard to do, I don't know those paths either, to be honest. But you could just sit somewhere for a few seconds and watch people walking around. That way when somebody comes up who's not an NPC, even if they're walking slow, they're going to be a little bit off the path. And when they go into that morph group they're going into, they're not going into like everybody else did. And that gives you a clear indication that that is the person who's after you. See these NPCs over here? This guy's walking a little bit differently. You have been and I got punched. Contract lost. Wait, how was this one? Oh, oh wow. Looked like he almost intercepted. I don't know how many points that one was. I got poised. What? <laughs> Massacre. Um, I'm telling you, this is a really fun match to do. I don't know how exciting it is to watch. It might not be exciting at all. But get with your friends, everyone take off everything, absolutely everything. All you can use is a poison, and it's up to the person if they want to do long-lasting poison, or it's up to the person if they want to do, you know, slow-acting poison or um, rapid reload. What, whichever one they want to do, it's up to them to balance that. I mean, meaning if they want to get one higher point kill or try to squeeze in one extra kill with that fa faster poison, because that's pretty much all that's going to come out of the cooldowns on the poison is one extra poison. I'm just going to go around punching people. 
my last Deathmatch vi video was actually on this map too. Seems to be a pretty cool map. And I knew so <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> walk through there. Uh, but if you want to rewind that clip, when I stun Eri, he's one of the greatest players I know, by the way, Eri305. Is it 305? I don't even know his name, but <laughs> he's good. Eri's a good friend of mine. Wait, wait, I don't have a poison! <laughs> I have a what am I, why am I walking up to that guy? I don't know! Oh no! I don't know if he has a poison, that's the real question here. He says he saw me walking up to set up my kill, but my poison wasn't back yet, so I couldn't kill him because that would be against the rules that I set up for the match. But I got lucky. In most matches, you'll see a lot of people get knocked down or people in the area. I always walk next to them because if you don't have a contract, you don't know who your next target's gonna be. <laughs> I just like punching people. And if you don't know who your next target's gonna be, it could very well be the guy who's grounded. And why not be next to him and set yourself up for a kill? And a lot of times, that might you might be their next target. And when they get up, you can quickly punch them in the face. And you know you get a free uh, free stun out of it before they even had a chance to do anything. Okay, my target saw me stun for sure. And I don't have a poison. I need to run for my life. I th yeah, I'm done. Woo. Thank you. That's Buddy MX, actually another really good player. Um, some news, I talked to Wingspan TT. He doesn't have a PlayStation and he has his tournament for Xbox. But once it's done, he asked me to reach out and run the PS3 tournament for ACR. And work permitting, uh, it's a very high possibility. And I will get back to everybody soon about that. Yeah, I definitely just got poisoned. Anytime somebody walks by you, and <laughs> tries to be cool right after it. Just uh, get your stun and prepare to die. I like dying in um, a pretty cool fashion. I'll usually walk up to the end of the roof, so I, I roll off. Or I go on a haystack and die in the haystack when I'm poisoned. Make good use of your poison deaths. I also like punching civilians, as you can see. At one point in this match, I was on the phone. And I think it's this point when I'm walking around aimlessly. Running around like that, you'll always get spotted by your pursuer, and that's what happens. But I went for the stun instead of the kill, and I'm still have time to set up my kill. Wow, this is just stun central. And my target's on the floor! Ah, this is where I took over, now I remember. Sorry, buddy. I do like watching people die after I poison them. Right, there, okay, that's good. Yeah, this is uh... <laughs> he's running away from me. He's not allowed to kill me if he doesn't have poison. This is really a fun match. Get your friends together. Poison only. You cannot kill if it's not a poison kill. You could stun anything else, but when it comes to offense, that's all you can do. It's gotta be a poison kill. And uh, it'll be a lot of fun. I've had, I think I had more fun in this match than I have in ACR in a long time. Um, there's my target right there, but I don't have a poison, so I kind of just have to wait. My meter's already incognito. I'll just keep an eye out for my pursuer in the meantime. Might have been this person behind me, right? That just... That just failed. I just let somebody get a focus on me. I, I don't want to talk about it. Which... Hey, there's another tip for you. <laughs> Tips are just flying up left and right. Uh, so <laughs> if you're after your target, lots of times you'll get poisoned. By someone you're not, because you're not paying attention to your pursuer. That's why a lot of times in matches I don't like walking in the middle of the map. Because there's hidden groups that are always walking by you and people are using those to get hidden on you. And it's just a great time to uh, get someone who's looking for somebody else. I think I'm going to win this match. It doesn't look promising though. 50 seconds. And I still have a poison to use though. What's this guy doing? Uh, you should have known better. Ah, that's where I take the lead. My target stuns the wrong person. Oh, he lost his contract. I thought I was going to get a stun. Never mind. I probably got poisoned there. Did I get poisoned there? Oh, this is good. There's my... <laughs> I, can't, I can't kill him. He's grounded! This is such a perfect kill. I can't do it. Uh, this is when I got cheap. I realized that I could, you could just <laughs> hang out on the ledge and nobody could do anything to you. But uh, we, in the next match, we had a rule against this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. I, this was just a fun video away from my lengthy commentary of 
tremendous amount of information in a packed amount of time. I was kind of having fun with this video. I'll come back with the real video really soon. You know, keep an eye out. I'll let you guys know about the tournament. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, I love uh, love the great feedback I get, and that's about it.